Since the apocalypse, beavers have learned a thing or two, and having chilled out on rivers for millennia, they've seen certain apparatus that the humans used, and have incorporated it into their culture. Yes, that's right, the beavers have water wheels. Those big wheels that feature in quaint images of country riverside life and dangerous pedals of doom in countless action sequences. We need power for our factories, and the beavers remember the knowledge of water wheels. So let's harness the power of the river. Now at this stage, Timberborn is still in early access, so many features have not been added. One is a visible grid of power like other city builders use. However, that does not mean we are approaching this blind. If you zoom in on the river, you can see the currents and how the physics of the game works. As with real life, water speed relates to the land it is travelling on. If you have a wide river, then the water will slow. If the river is narrow, the water will pick up speed. To get the most out of the water wheel, we need the water to be moving as fast as possible. Scope the area where you want to build your factory area. Keep it in mind you will want to expand as the game progresses and you unlock more buildings and abilities. Here on the map I am looking to use the bottom of the landmass with an eye on maybe moving to the other part of the land in future. We need a path to ensure that the water wheel is recognised as part of the district, then the beavers can get to work, carrying the 50 logs required for its construction. To gain more power, we can build more wheels. For me, I find it's best to centralise the power source. The power cables cannot cross paths, and you have to consider this when planning your industrial area. You can build wheels along the riverside, but this means you have to build more power cables, thereby reducing your build area. You have two choices. Choice one is build another wheel next to your existing one. Power stacks between buildings, so you can add another wheel to your original one. Build some stairs to the river and a path. This allows the wheel to be placed. Then you can add another wheel. This will give you more power. The original wheel is giving between 80 and 120 horsepower. So the second wheel is now giving up to 20 to 30 more horsepower on top of the original's horsepower. The more wheels you add, the more power you will generate. There is a more economical method. Remember at the beginning of the video when I said the narrower the river, the faster the water. We can artificially narrow the water using levees. A wheel costs 50 logs to me, a levee costs 12 logs. As with choice one, build your stairs and path to allow the beavers access. Set up the levees and watch the power generated by your original wheel soar. You can now see the speed of the water and the significant increase in power. If you need more power down the line, you can destroy the levees and place a third wheel down. Three wheels will cost 150 logs. Two wheels and two levees cost 124 logs. In the long run, you may want to be saving logs. For more tips on Timberborn, click the playlist on the screen now.